first shortcuts video, we're going to take a look at creating a very simple app, similar to the one we created in Automator to add a new event to the diary. It will show you how achieving the same task in shortcuts is simpler and easier than with Automator. First, we want to launch shortcuts, which you can find in the Applications folder in systems running macOS Monterey or later. At the top right of the interface is a plus button, which allows us to create a new shortcut and opens the shortcut creation and edit window. The first thing we want to do is name our shortcut. Click in the title bar at the top here and rename the shortcut to new event. We can also take this opportunity to select a relevant icon and change its color. The right hand side of the window is where we find our actions. We can browse them either in categories or by app. Select apps and then find the calendar entry. The bottom of the window reflects our selection and shows all actions that relate to the calendar. We want to use the add new event action. To add it to the shortcut flow, we need to either double click it or drag it into place. Click on the show more button and put a tick in the show compose sheet. This will allow our user to configure the details for the event when they run the shortcut. Next, we need to make it easy to run the shortcut. There are a few ways to do this, but in this instance, we are going to choose to make it available by a shortcut. This button at the top of the shortcuts window allows us to configure settings for the shortcut. Let's click it and then click the add keyboard shortcut button. In the box, type the shortcut you wish to use. In our case, command, option, shift, and C. Now, when we type this key combination, the system will run the shortcut. The last item we need to configure is a notification to let the user know that the calendar event has been successfully added to the calendar. Type notification in the search bar. We now have a list of actions that are related to notifications. Drag the show notification action underneath the add new event action. You will see that we get a little line that connects the two actions together. This shows that the result of the add new event action will be passed to the show notification action. At the top of the action, we need to configure it to correctly report the relevant information. Right click in the text box and choose insert variable from the contextual menu. Then select the new event calendar item. From the resulting sheet, scroll through the list until you find the name attribute of the new event object. We now get a little token in the text box to show us which data it will be pulling from the new event. Let's add another. First type created in and then right click and choose the variable again. This time, we're going to choose calendar. Finally, we will add one last variable, which will tell us how long it is until the event that we added will happen. Right click and choose the variable again, and this time, select start date from the list. From the date format box, choose the how long till ago option. Now we can test our shortcut. To verify that it works when you're in a different application, navigate to a program you already have running and then type our shortcuts key combination. The new event configuration box will turn up. Fill in the details that you wish to use for the event. Click add. The event is added to the calendar, even if it's not open. And we will get a notification in the notification center with the specified data.